sus pinches gatas. Los voy a romper su madre. El resto del año les repopalotea los pinches nalgas. Y ahora sí, muy chingones. Pinche noche de desviación de mierda. Gente de Combo, bienvenidos Yo soy Rulo G Y ahora me encuentro en Los Ángeles, California Porque voy a entrarle a la experiencia de Purge Anarchy Esta película secuela de la noche de la expiación Vamos a no solo entrevistar No solo vamos a entrevistar al talento También vamos a vivir una experiencia Vaya, no les quiero spoilear nada Porque la verdad ni yo sé Purge Breakout is an immersive escape experience where we send through groups uh, through a set where they are part of the world of the Purge and through a series of rooms, puzzles and clues they have to break out from uh, the house of one of the characters from the Purge before the, uh, the event starts. The Purge will commence in 30 minutes. Gente, ¿cómo estamos aquí con los protagonistas? El protagonista de Purge Anarchy, Frank Grillo. Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm good. Yes. You can't go out there. You know how dangerous it is. This won't bring him back. It won't make you feel any better. Don't do this. Zach. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. How's it going? I was doing great. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you. Did so, you go through this whole thing? Yes. How'd you do? I didn't make it, man. <laughs> I'm uh -uh. sorry. So we've already seen the first movie. Yeah. What are we going to see on this sequel? Uh, this movie is much bigger scope. It's what the purge, you get to see what is happening out in the world during the purge as opposed to inside a house. Yes. So the scope of the film is, is uh, you know, much larger and uh, the understanding of what it is, you know, the, the ideology of what it is is, ex is explained in a bigger way. It's, it's a bigger movie. The sequel's a lot of fun because it's, you know, it just follows the purge onto another experience, you know, not a character. So it's not really contrived. Um, and it's out on the street and it's kind of these five people who are thrown together yes. and they're trapped outside and they're just trying to survive the night. And you see all the craziness and the anarchy that a purge would kind of be out in, in the world. This is the commencement of the annual purge. At the siren, all crime, including murder, will be legal. What was the thing that made you say, I want to be part of this purge? Yeah, it was a great script. And I hadn't yeah. seen the first one. You hadn't seen it? I hadn't seen it. They sent me the script. I'm a big fan of 70s movies with uh, the Charles Bronson and Steve McQueen, those guys that don't say very much. And, and that's how I saw my character. And, and there's a great journey that he took. And I was like, I love this. And I met with the director. And then I saw the first purge. And what do you think? And I said, this is a great idea. And I could see <laughs> why. Yeah. And he said to me, if I had more money, I would have made this movie. First. Yeah, that's the movie. I wanted the oh, world, you know. Oh, okay. So it's good. I'm, I I lucked out that he didn't have the money because I think this movie's <laughs> great. Yeah. I like the first movie, and then I really like the script for the second one. I just think it's, I think it's really cool and exciting, and uh, you know, it kind of it definitely keeps you on the edge of your seat. The movie yes. it moves, and uh, you know, but it's got peaks and valleys, so it's not just. Uh, you know, a, a moving train that you're just, you know, so it feels very real, like the experience of being out on a purge night would be. All emergency services will be suspended. Your government thanks you for your participation. What is that? Disarm security 
system. This is not a test. We know. This is your emergency <laughs> broadcast system. Announcing 15 minutes until the commencement of the annual purge. Red Square. The no. purge will commence in 15 minutes. No. So, I'm talking about your character, he's a badass, a badass guy. Yeah. Yeah. What's the thing that that you like about these characters? Because we see you in Captain America, we see you in a lot of characters. Right. This badass character. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, I feel like it's a uh, they're characters that uh, aren't explored that much in movies anymore. They were it was a big thing in the seventies and the eighties even. Um, so I like guys like this that are that are no nonsense. That uh, you know, they're not always good, but they're not bad. You know, yes. they, they truly are anti-heroes. And, uh, you know, this is, my character's a damaged guy. Yeah. And so it's fun to do that. You know, it's, uh, as an actor, it's, it's challenging. I, to play Captain America, I always tell Chris Evans, who cares, you're a nice guy. Anybody can do that. That's not interesting. Try being yeah. Brock Rumlow. <laughs> so you are actually acting with your wife. Yeah. Yeah, and you are, you are acting as his husband. In real life, you are actually a couple. How? Yes. How is that? Is, uh... It was super fun, me and my wife working together. Uh, you know, it was completely by coincidence that we got to do the movie. Uh, the director didn't even know we were married when oh, really? he said he wanted both of us. And so it was cool, you know, we definitely got to draw on some stuff from real life a little bit, but really it was just kind of great getting to go to work with your buddy every day. As long as we keep moving, we're okay. People like us, we don't survive tonight! The environments are very sort of claustrophobic. There's a lot of atmosphere in them. There's sort of, it's if you can imagine, just sort of the worst house you could possibly be stuck in. There's just a lot of really difficult situations to be put in, places you don't want to be, touching things you don't want to touch. It's sort of really like uh, the last place on Earth you'd want to be spending the last 30 minutes before the purge starts. Oh my God, they're taking us. <laughs> this is the last Purge of the evening. The bidding will start at 200,000. So the director actually is, is, is saying that what he likes about his movies is not just to entertain, but to make a like dialogue with the audience. Right. What do you think, uh, what's the dialogue that's, that this movie is going to give the audience? Well, I think there's a couple, truly. I think there's the obvious ones about human nature and if we are inherently violent and gun control and the necessity for that. But I think there's also this comment on kind of policy in the state of our country right now. And, you know, it's really set up in a way where the rich get richer and the poor get poor. I think it's, you know, look, it's right out in front of our faces. Uh, you know, gun violence in America is kind of outlandish and, and uh, violence in general and why our society, our specific American society, is a little bit obsessed with guns and, and violence. And uh, we can turn on the news any day of the week and, and we see it. So I think that's what he wanted people to think about and to talk about is, you know, what's going on? Yeah. What do you like? People like us, we don't survive tonight! It's my night to burn! So in the first movie we see action happening on a house. Now we see on the street. Right. What would be a cool idea for a third? You know, I think you see uh, Michael K. Williams, who plays Carmelo in this movie, yeah. who's got the resistance. Yeah. Um, I think it would be interesting to see how the resistance now, where that goes, say, yeah. you know, with me, maybe, uh, you know, how the, the other side starts to fight back. Oh, okay. yeah. that would be great. That would That's be amazing. great, yes. You know, there's so many options. One joke I've heard is purge on a plane, um, <laughs> which could be scary. I, I think it should be like backwards. You know, was, like very rural. Like what yeah. happens like on farmland? Oh yeah, that would, um, that would be great. That'd be kind of interesting. If you're not purging, we advise you to get off the streets as quickly as possible. It'll soon be a war out there.
we have like this tradition uh, of we're saying the good, the bad, and the weird about the film. <laughs> Can you help us out with the good, the bad, and the weird about Birch Anarchy? The good, the bad, and the weird. I mean, the good is the good is the movie itself. It's a yeah. good, fun movie. I think everybody will like it and be surprised that um, it, it's more high concept than I think on face value. The bad is there's a a lot of bad people in it doing bad things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the weird is, I mean, kind of the weirdness of this concept and like how that's how that would manifest in in real life. So now. If this purge actually happens, what would you do? Hide. Hide. I would hide. <laughs> you would hide. I would hide yes. you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hide together. Yeah, well, well, Frank, thank you very much. Oh, my It'll pleasure, be amazing. brother. Thank you, thank so, you much. so much. We need to hold that close. We need to hold that close. Commencing episode. Any and all crime, including murder, will be leaving for 12 continuous hours. And Police, and fire, and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. Right. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, yeah, a nation reborn. May God be with you. del vestuario, o sea van a salir unos vestidos, unos trajes, obviamente todo esto de época súper bien cuidado. La historia está muy bien escrita.